Good day guys. I am Geeta. Now I am here to share my experience in writing a research paper. Let us start with how to write a research paper. Now it is step 1 identifying a topic. To my experience I say when you go for identifying a topic you go for an area which is not frequently researched. Why is it so? Why you should go for a topic which is not frequently researched means when you go for a frequently researched topic, when you go researching, your research might get outdated. So there is a chance that it might get outdated. So go for a topic which is not frequently researched to be on the safer side. Now it is step 2, in-depth analysis. Analysis is thorough study. So go for an in-depth analysis for the topic you have identified. When you go for citing the resources regarding this topic, all the WH questions, what, when, where, why, how has to be answered. You should keep track of all the resources then and there so that you will be updated whenever there is an update in the resources. Now it is step 3, information with decluttering. From the information you obtain through analysis, go for creating an outline for your work. So when you go for creating your work, see to that no cluttering is done. You increase the intensity of decluttering and check out the flow of your information. Now it is step 4, building an abstract. Here only your real work starts. You will never get a second chance to make a great first impression. So see to that your abstract is simple, clear, understandable. It should be a clear summary of your work. When a reader once read your abstract, he or she should automatically get attracted towards your work. So your abstract should remain very clear and attractive. Now it is step 5. Introduce your topic. When you begin with introduction, the first aspect which you have to cover is the importance of the topic. Importance is that you have to answer all the questions such as why, where, when, what and how. When you go for this, you have to see that your work is not cluttered. That is, the intensity of decluttering should be higher in your work. Whenever you go for introducing a particular topic, you come across a difference of opinion. It is sure that there exists a difference of opinion in any topic. So it is a must that you have to include this difference of opinion in your introduction. Now the step 6. Generate work. This reminds us the heart of your work. Based on the cited resources you obtained, you have to develop an innovative work. When you go for developing this, you have to move across the pyramid structure such that the information moves from generalized state to the specific work. Narrow down the innovative work you have specified with citations. The innovative work which you have specified must be with proof, analysis, evaluation and counterpart. Now it is step 7, conclude. Now when I say conclude, keep in mind that tell them what you have done and tell them what is to be done in the future. That is, always conclude your work with the impact of results in the existing environment. Then you have to specify in the future what is the progress in that can be made in your work which is an important part of conclusion that has to be included in every topic whichever it might be. Now it is step 8 references. Wherever, whenever, however you have cited the information all the references has to be included. So when anyone goes for referring 
they should gain answer for questions such as why what when where and how so your reference should remain updated now you feel that you have concluded you have finished your work but it is not so you have not it completed now you have to revise and edit revise and edit revise and edit 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 first you have to check for the flow of your information then go for decluttering your information after decluttering give your paper to some of your colleagues or your higher officials to check out consider the pros and cons they have mentioned then again go for flow go for decluttering until you get satisfied then go for plagiarism check and grammar check when you come across this plagiarism check and grammar check it means that you have succeeded now your paper is ready and you have developed a paper with innovative work guys what we have seen is the summary to write a research paper we'll see each and every step in detail in the upcoming videos if you like this information subscribe and have a press on the bell button to get updated regarding videos thank you